Hello friends, welcome to our devotional series we are calling In The Moment. And you know, as our title says, we wanna lean into this moment. Uh, this year, 2020, it's a time that may forever change things. It may dramatically change our culture, our world, and even the church. So we must be in the moment. We cannot miss what God may have for us. All right, so this is part one of a 10-part devotional series that includes videos like this one, plus you'll see some scripture readings and reflection questions to go deeper. So much has happened, right, in these past few months that we thought this would be a really good thing to have. So most of us could say that this has been a time where we have experienced a roller coaster of emotions, thoughts, opinions, fears, the unexpected, and so many more things. And so we have to ask ourselves, what does God have for us in this moment? Well, in Matthew chapter 6, at the end of the chapter, Jesus says this in verse 34. He says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So that got very real very fast. He, he says, do not worry about tomorrow. And, and, and I know that many of us fill our todays thinking about tomorrow, right? Over in James chapter 4, he says, hey, listen, you know, today or tomorrow, a lot of us are worried about if we're going to go to this city or that city, if we're going to carry on business, make money. He says, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. He says, what is your life? It's, isn't it just a mist that appears for just a little while and then vanishes? James says you don't even have tomorrow. You, you have no guarantees. All you have is today. Jesus says, be here today in this moment. And for many of us, our head isn't just filled with our tomorrow. It's also filled with our yesterday. Let me show you something real quick. If we looked at this on a bit of a time continuum, on one end we have yesterday, in the middle is today, and on the other end is tomorrow. Well, most of us, we spend our times thinking about the both ends of the spectrum, yesterday and tomorrow. And, and, and I don't know about you, but we miss today, right? We, we, our head is filled with, you know, what is supposed to happen but it got canceled or delayed or undone. And equally, my head can be filled with what has to happen next. You know, to, tomorrow and the days ahead are filled with uncertainty. There are a lot of things sitting out there for me to do, things that need to get done, decisions I need to make, hills that have yet to be conquered, right? It's all in front of us. Is it possible to live so much thinking about yesterday and, to, and tomorrow that we're sacrificing today? You know, if there's anything this season we are in has taught us is that we can live day to day. We can be in the moment. And I think Jesus is saying, be fully present. Pay attention to the horizon because I am doing something now. I, I feel like the Holy Spirit is whispering to us. You know, can you see it? You see what I'm up to? Jesus taught his disciples, wherever you are, be there. Don't be someplace else. And if there's anything right now in this moment, that I hope every believer around the world will do is to be fully present, lean into the moment, because I believe the Spirit of God is moving across the world in a unique way that none of us could have predicted. And I just feel that's the way revival and breakthrough works. It's something that so many of around the world have prayed for, and what if this is the moment, right? We can't miss it, because God is not absent, God will not be silent, and I do know that the Holy Spirit is on the move. He is stirring His people, and he is opening hearts. And I know this, make no mistake, when God moves, the spiritual battle gets stronger and the enemy will want to get your mind off of what God is doing today and he'll get you to worry about tomorrow and despair about yesterday. But make no mistake, be encouraged. God has something for all of us right now in this moment. So my friends, take a few minutes, consider this thought a little deeper, read some of the scriptures, reflect on some of the questions. Um, but thanks so much for joining us. We love you guys. Grace and peace.